Hey everyone, and welcome back to Mundo Vapes. I'm Raymundo, and I'm here to bring you another e-liquid review. Today's e-liquid is French Dude by Vaping Breakfast Classics. Uh, really good juice. I really, really enjoy it. So let's get down to it. Uh, on their, according to their website, the product description is our, their version of French toast, topped with blueberries and whipped cream drizzled with maple syrup. They love their French toast to be soaked in its egg batter, so expect a nice taste of vanilla custard. When we prepare French toast, we don't like to use cinnamon, but we prefer powdered sugar. It, this is a 60 ml bottle. It does retail for $24.99, comes in 0, 3, and 6 milligrams of nicotine, and is an 80 20 VGPG. Uh, I really enjoy this juice. It's, it's quite good, uh, but let's get into that. All right, so today I will be vaping this on my Sigeli J80 mod with my Battlestar RDA dual clap, dual fused Clapton 0.22 ohm coils, Japanese cotton. So let's do a sniff test real quick. And we're gonna get into a, a pros and a couple of cons with this juice. Okay, so, okay. Right off the bat, you get French toast. Uh, I get the blueberry. Blueberry is a very strong uh, flavor in here. Slight hint of whipped cream and a slight hint of maple syrup. So, um, if that's a flavor profile you like, you're going to really like this. But at any rate, let's let's strip this. And of course I overdripped. That's an issue I'm going to get into in a minute. Okay, uh, just wipe this off because I don't want to get nasty. Okay, so here we go. Let's do a quick fog test. Okay, you, I smell the maple syrup, uh, a drop of maple syrup, I smell the French toast, I smell the blueberries, and um, like I said, it's, it's a very strong flavor. So again, I am going to be vaping this on my Sigeli J80 mod, Battlestar RDA, dual, cla dual fused Clapton, 0.22, ohming out at 0.22, at 69 watts. <laughs> okay smooth on the inhale smooth on the exhale no throat hit three milligrams uh 80 20 vg pg <coughs> nice really nice clouds um the flavor spot on on the inhale i get the french toast i get the blueberry very strong blueberry uh, and on the exhale, I'm still getting French toast and blueberry, but I'm getting some slight hint of cream and a hint of the maple syrup. Now, with the maple syrup, they did a really great job because original with their original Pancake Man, uh, it was really heavy on the maple syrup, too way too way too much. I didn't care for it. When they did Deluxe Pancake Man, they toned down the maple syrup, and for French dude, they toned it down. It's kind of like an afterthought. It's it's smooth and it's 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 nice. It's nice, but definitely before with the regular Pancake Man, it was way too overpowering, way too sweet. Um, this does retail for twenty four ninety nine on their website. Uh, I did pick this up at my favorite shop in New York City, Bearded Vape in the Bronx. I'll leave a a. a Link to their shop if you live in New York City and want to check them out uh, in the in the description, and I will also leave the product fl the flavor profile in the description below. Uh, there's not a whole lot to be said about this. It's a very good juice. Let me get into a couple of cons. First of all, I hate this tip. This tip is awful. Vaping breakfast classics. If you are watching this, please. This is it's awful. I. I I drip it, it drips all over the place, it doesn't, it's not a steady stream, you, you have other bottles for your Deluxe Pancake Man, that's wonderful. You have the Unicorn bottles, excellent. Nice thin tip, easy to drip. Please, 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 please change this tip. I, I really, I can't stand it. Um, they used to, it used to come with, a, with a, a couple Unicorn bottles, they don't do that anymore. Uh, and I'm not saying to include it, I'm saying to change the bottle, because it, it really, it's, it's not good. Um, Another possible con for some people would be that because it is a very sweet juice, it's going to wreck your cotton. You're going to have to change your cotton a little bit more often than normal. For me, that's not a big deal. I have no problem changing cotton. I enjoy it. Uh, also, on your coils, it is going to gunk up the coils pretty quickly, again, because it is a sweet juice. For me, it's no big deal. Pull up the cotton, dry burn the coil. 
clean them off, scrub them a little bit with a toothbrush, that's what I do, and replace the cotton, you're good to go. It's not an issue, it's not a con for me, but for some people, they just don't want to be bothered. So if that's something that you really do not enjoy doing or you really don't want to be bothered with, this might not be for you. Also, I have not used this in a tank, and I personally wouldn't use it in a tank because tank coils are expensive, and I can't see you getting more than a couple days off of a coil with this juice. Uh, there's, a, some, there's a couple of juices that I've tried in tanks that were really, really, really sweet, and it just wasn't worth it. Um, you know, like I said, if you have no problem, if this is no big deal to you, buying a bunch of coils just to have this juice, that's fine, that's great. But overall, if you are, if money's kind of an issue or you just don't want to be uh, changing your tank coils often, definitely not the juice for you. Uh, but again, I really like this. It's excellent. If you like French toast, you like blueberry, you like whipped cream, you're really going to like this. Uh, Vaping Breakfast Classics, I really enjoy. I've only tried their French Dude, their Deluxe Pancake Man and their Pancake Man, and I really enjoyed all three of those. When I pick up the next Deluxe Pancake Man, I'll do a review of that. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll continue to keep them coming. Until then, vape them if you got them.